Making a clipping mask is really easy. It just requires you to play with shapes. So first I'm going to unlock my background so that I can edit it more easily without any problems. And then I'm going to add a new layer and I can do that by clicking right here at the bottom on the, no, that's not working now, on the new layer icon. I'm going to draw a shape. Now, over here in your toolbar, you'll probably have the rectangle tool showing. If you click and hold on it, you will get additional options. And I'm going to choose the custom shape tool. You may not have all of the shapes listed that I do. In order to get these shapes, what you can do is go up to Window, Shapes, and over here on the lines, click on that and go to Legacy Shapes and More. And if you click on that, your shape options will look like mine. So I'm going to choose a heart for this picture of me and Miss Malloy from Halloween. And to draw, all I do is I click and drag. I want to be able to see through the heart so I can place it well. And I can do that over here by changing the opacity and making it a little bit lower. Drag the heart, let's make it taller. This I can stretch bigger or smaller because it's not a photograph. It is just a drawing in an image. So that looks pretty good. Once I've got that settled, I'm going to drag the photograph above the shape. And I can turn this into a clipping mask in a couple of ways. You can hold Alt on your keyboard and you will get this icon. And if you use that and click on that line in between the two, it will make your clipping mask. Ah, my opacity is still very low. I'm going to change that again. Great. If you, the other option you can do is with the uh, layer on top, you can right click and go to create clipping mask and that will do the same thing. Once you've got your shape and you're happy with where the photo is in regards to your shape, the size of your shape, and how it looks. Let's see, this is changing. I don't, I want to be able to, since it was changing together and I want to be able to smush it, warp it up here at the top where this chain is, I'm just going to unclick that because I wanted to make it like that. Okay. I'm gonna hit enter. Once I've got that done, I'm going to click on layer zero so it's selected, hold shift on my keyboard, click on heart card. From here, I can go up to layer and then merge layers, or I can right click and go to merge layers. Now this is one layer and it's very easy to copy and paste into my destination document. I'm gonna do control A to select all, control C to copy, go to my destination document and control V to paste. It's a little big, so I'm going to resize it. Once I'm happy with the size, I'm going to go ahead and click enter to apply it. Make sure I name my layer. And Malloy. And there you go, clipping masks.